What's going on guys, this is Jonathan here with TLD bringing you the review to the latest 4th generation iPod Touch. This comes in at 8 gigs for 229, 32 gigs for 299, and 64 gigs for 399. Now this ships with iOS 4.1 so it features Game Setter and you can also upload your HD videos directly from Wi-Fi. You guys can take a look at the front facing cameras this is used for FaceTime. As we flip it over we get a look at the backside camera. This does HD 720 but it is less than 1 megapixel as far as the camera goes. The sleep wake button is now located on the top left hand side. As we move over to the side of the iPod Touch, you guys can see the volume up and the volume down. Now moving down to the bottom of the iPod Touch, you get a speaker slash microphone, the 30 pin USB connection, and also the headphone output jack. Now, this also features the Retina display. I want to let you guys know it does not have an IPS display, so it's a little different than the iPhone 4, which means the iPhone 4 is going to have slightly better viewing angles, but still a great display nonetheless. I'm going to show you guys how thin it is compared to the iPhone 4, uh, and then move it over to a couple different angles so you guys can really get a feel of how it looks compared to it. I have the latest gen iPod Nano. You guys can take a look at that compared to the new iPod Touch right here. Uh, and I don't have an older generation iPod Touch, so I'm just going to show you guys a little example. This is the old iPod Touch right here. And on the right hand side is a new one. Like I had mentioned, the iPhone 4 does have the IPS, so I want to give you guys a little example of how that looks. Overall, it's just going to look a little crisper, a little brighter with a little more contrast, but that doesn't take really anything away from the iPod Touch 4G. Now, like I said, this is less than one megapixel as far as the camera goes, so the iPhone actually has a five megapixel camera, uh, just so you can clear some things up. You guys can see the differences right here. The iPhone 4 pictures are much clearer. Uh, it does take 720p video recording, though. I'll show you guys a little quick example of that. I actually did a whole iPhone 4 versus iPhone iPod series, you guys can click the annotation to see that. And I actually also did some more 720p tests, you guys can click that annotation as well. Now moving on to FaceTime, this does feature it like I had mentioned. I got a few questions on how it works exactly because there is no phone number. Uh, so it's pretty simple, all you do is create a contact through an email. Uh, you can do it from iPod Touch to iPod Touch or iPod Touch to iPhone 4. Uh, so it works pretty seamlessly, it takes a few moments to connect. Uh, this is a quick example of the FaceTime demo. You guys can see actually the iPhone screen also looks a little clearer here. Uh, it's another example of the IPS display. Nonetheless, the FaceTime works great for the iPod Touch uh, and I hope that cleared a couple questions up if you guys weren't sure how to use it with the FaceTime. Now I want to clear up a couple things, a couple questions you guys ask me, is it worth upgrading from your old generation iPod Touch? And a short answer, yes, completely 100%. Uh, go sell your old iPod Touch, this one is worth the money. There a few features on the iPhone 4 that are better, but you don't have a contract, you don't have to pay a monthly fee, it just works from Wi-Fi, uh, you get FaceTime calling, HD video recording, everything, it's a great machine. Like I said, go ahead and click the iPhone 4 versus iPod Touch 4G if you guys want to check that out. Feel free to follow me on Twitter at TLD Today, and I'll see you guys next time.